Lume, energy that flows from the depth. Google's VO3.1 and OpenAI Sora 2 can now turn a single image into a full commercial with audio in minutes. Out here, every step, every turn, every paddle stroke demands more. That's why we made Trail Charge, fuel built for the long haul. Real chocolate, roasted nuts, and 11 grams of protein with zero artificial junk. Whoa, it's so fruity. <laughs> Somebody likes it. Even Max wants a bite. Pour on the fun. Dragon Hoop cereal burst. But which one actually makes better ads? I ran them head to head using the same prompts and the results were shocking. In this video, I'll show you how to create commercials with both models inside Leonardo AI and walk you through the workflow you can start using today. Let's get started. Today, we're using Leonardo AI, who's also sponsoring today's video, to create our test commercials. And they just added a lot of models we can use for our video workflow. Inside Leonardo, get into the video section. In order to control how your product looks, we'll need to use image to video to create the video. The whole process is now as simple as just uploading an image and adding your prompt. And that's all it takes with these new models to create a complete commercial, like this one. If you refine the prompt more, you can even get this type of result. Introducing CloudNap, crafted from breathable premium fabric and secured with elegant hardware. It's a haven for every cat's favorite pastime. But we don't want to leave it to chance, so let's make one with more control. And on Leonardo, we get to choose between VO3.1 Fast, Standard VO3.1, Sora 2, and the Sora 2 Pro. The Fast versions render quicker, while the Standard or Pro models deliver higher quality results. At a higher credit cost, Sora 2 gives us more duration options. We have 4, 8, and 12 seconds duration, while VO3.1 is fixed at a 8 second output. Another major difference is that VO3.1 also allows an end frame, so you can control both the beginning and the ending of your video. We can also choose the generation quality and video dimensions. For VO3.1, there's an additional field where you can add a negative prompt to remove unwanted details. And here's the prompt I use for this example. As you can see in this prompt, we've separated into three sections. Both of these models can handle multiple scenes within a short 8 to 12 second video. So you can build a complete story sequence inside one generation. You can start each section with a scene number or a timestamp like we do here. And followed by the shot type and a scene description. We can also include dialogue, sound effects, or even ambient background music inside the prompt to make the video feel more dynamic. And just a quick reminder when assigning timestamps, make sure the dialogue you include can actually fit within that time frame. If it's too long, the model might cut it off mid-sentence. A good best practice is to include the style notes to control the style and ambience. Here are the negative prompts I would include when creating commercials. I always remove logos because the AI often generates placeholder designs that doesn't really match the actual brand. I also want to exclude captions or subtitles since the model sometimes add those automatically. And if I ever need them, I prefer to add them manually during the editing process. For Sora 2, we also get control over the duration. To keep the comparison fair, I will use the 8 second for Sora 2, so it matches the 8 second duration of VO3.1. And for Sora 2, you'll need to include any negative prompts directly inside the main prompt, rather than in a separate field like VO3.1. Just use simple phrases like no captions or no subtitles and the model will understand exactly what you mean. I'll run tests for all of these models so you can see the differences. And you can judge for yourself which model might be the best fit for your own projects. Starting with VO3.1 Fast. Engineered for comfort. A structure that hugs, not holds. Cloud nap, where every nap feels like heaven. The voiceover sounds a bit processed and it skipped the second scene I prompted. Though it did include the final tag, like instructed. But there's some morphing around its pole if you look closely. And still the overall execution is solid. And I think this is usable with some editing. Engineered for comfort. A structure that hugs, not holds. Cloud nap, where every nap feels like heaven. 
VR 3.1, the standard version has slightly cleaner audio and sharper visuals. Just a tiny improvement compared to the fast version in my opinion. The cast seems to collapse into a ball during the transition here. And also the flipping motion feels a little bit uncomfortable. So we may need another generation to help us get the cozy nap feeling we're aiming for. But if you've ever filmed a real cat, you know how rarely they would follow instructions. So this is actually not bad. Both VO 3.1 Fast and Standard follow the prompt quite well, with only minor morphing and audio issues. And here's the Sora version. Engineered for comfort. A structure that hugs, not holds. Cloud nap, where every nap feels like heaven. Visually, Sora 2 isn't as crisp, but I think the overall vibe feels more cinematic and intentional. The camera angles, lighting, and the cat mo movements are all very natural, and it follows the multi-scene prompt more closely than VO 3.1 in this test. Engineered for comfort, a structure that hugs, not holds. Cloud nap, where every nap feels like heaven. The Sora 2 Pro version adds slightly more detail. We've got stronger sunlight through the window, and the transition to the tag in the end feels smoother. Overall, Sora 2 delivers a more natural and emotional emotional cohesive story, and VO 3.1 can sometimes feel a bit more awkward in motion and scene setup. Between the fast and pro version for both models, the differences are really subtle, so I'll stick with the fast version for future tests since the quality gap is not a lot in my eyes. One thing you probably have noticed is that both models sometimes produce process and robotic audio, and VO 3.1 generally sounds a bit cleaner, but if you care about sound quality, it's best to redo the voiceover and music, or use a AI voice changer to mirror the voiceover, like you can do it in 11 laps. These clips can work as standalone micro ads for YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, or you can stick several together into one 30 second cinematic shot. So you don't have to prompt multi-scene, but I just want to review the possibility. Today, I'm generating everything in one go just to show what's possible with a single prompt. Uh, these are also good inspirations for a full commercial. In real production, we don't need to fit everything into one generation. It's usually better to create several shots, clips, and edit them together for the final ads. So now what if we want more control over our commercial? For example, if we want our character and product to appear together in the scene. In this case, we can control both the first frame and the last frame of the video in VO 3.1. For maximum control, I'll use Nano Banana to create our starting frame in the image tool. It gives the highest consistency and context awareness for high quality visuals. And this lets us edit or combine different elements in the same image with really precise control. We can choose to let AI enhance the prompt. In Leonardo, we can also pick a style. I'll keep it on dynamic, select how many images to generate. And for this demo, I'll upload both the product image and the model image. I want to use for the commercial. Also with the prompt here. Then just click generate and here are the results. I think they all look great. The consistency of the product and the character is really impressive. The packaging and the character's features are pretty well reserved in the results. I really like this one. The product details are accurate and the overall mood feels very cinematic. And I'll use this as my image reference. Since VO 3.1 also allow us to upload a final frame, I'm going to use the chocolate bar image and the prompt to generate the last frame. We do this because if we let the AI freely generate the logo, it may not always come out accurately. So by controlling both the first and the last frame, we can ensure a consistent branded results. And these are the results. I like this one, but I want to add a tagline under. We can simply edit the image using Nano Banana under here. Add a tagline, move, fix, fix your mood. It replaced the creamy milk chocolate text with my tagline. But I think this is probably better, so I'll use this for the end scene. Once both frames are ready, we go back to the video generator and upload the first and the last frame. And we paste in our prompt and click generate. Here's the real 3.1 result. This. It's my emotional support chocolate. Don't judge, we all have our coping mechanisms. Move fix, it's cheaper than therapy. The overall delivery is super clean. It transitions perfectly into the final end screen we created. But if you look into the details, one thing I don't love is how she crumbles the chocolate bar like she's never opened one before. But, but I guess this is something AI still needs to learn. 
And the next thing is she somehow opened it properly. These kinds of small inconsistencies happen sometimes, but if you're not nitpicking frame by frame, it's still a really great commercial overall. Between the first and the second cuts, the product consistency also holds up really well. But if we look closely, the tiny creamy milk chocolate text under Move Fix gets a bit lost. Probably because the initial frame wasn't clear enough in text. That's something you can prevent by making sure your first frame has legible text and sharper product details before uploading. But in this case, I didn't do it, so it's on me. And for Sora 2, we'll use the same concept. But here's the catch. When using Sora, avoid uploading start frames that contain humans. Sora blocks images with human faces when used as starting frames. For this reason, we'll just upload the product image with the same prompt and try to control the overall scene and mood through text prompt. This, it's my emotional support chocolate. Don't judge, we all have our coping mechanisms. Move fix, it's cheaper than therapy. <laughs> Even without a reference image, Sora 2 actually gives us a pretty realistic model that fits the product's vibe really nicely. In the first scene, the product's a bit far from the camera, so the details aren't really perfect. But it still roughly resembles the actual packaging. Also, the acting and energy feel much more natural than what we usually get from VO 3.1. It did cut to the end scene as instructed. Though the product didn't bounce as instructed, small details like that can vary between generations. I was surprised that the chocolate's pattern actually matched the reference image really good. And details like this show good efforts in maintaining consistency not only on the main character, but every element in the reference. When it comes to realism, Sora 2 clearly handled the human better. Vio 3.1's actor sometimes gives a more plastic AI look, and while people in Sora 2 feel more like a real person. And overall, they are both usable with a bit of editing and adjustment. You can also create UGC style video like this one by adjusting the prompt. Here is the Sora 2 result. Okay, I wasn't even planning to film this, but this bar, it's actually so good. Mmm. Wait, it's creamy but not too sweet? I've literally had three of these this week. Mufix, if you see this, we need to it really does feel like a real UGC clip. The only downside is that since you cannot control the face, it's hard to generate a follow-up clip with the same person again if you want continuity across multiple videos. But if you just need a short standalone shot or a piece of footage to include in a larger commercial, then Sora 2 can work. Here is a VO 3.1 result. Okay, I wasn't even planning to film this, but this bar, it's actually so good. I've literally had three of these this week. Mufix, if you see this, we need to talk. I find it harder to make VO 3.1 feel natural or unscripted for a UGC Vibe video. Most results still end up looking like a planned commercial. Because of the 8 second limit, I wouldn't recommend using multi-scene prompts for this style, since that usually makes it feel even more staged. Instead, we can try generating a few simple single take clips and stitch them together in editing if you want something that feels more authentic. Personally, I haven't been able to get a VO 3.1 result that doesn't look like the characters are performing in a commercial. We can also create commercials in other styles. I have seen lots of people experimenting with the high energy Japanese style commercial with Sora 2, so I want to try it too. I think this is pretty cool. For some reason, I haven't been able to get VO 3.1 to generate this style. Maybe due to some kind of content policy I'm not aware of. So I'll skip this for now because I wasn't able to generate that. And we're not limited to realistic style. Sometimes a cartoon style can work as well. Climb high, feel the might. Trail charge fills you with energy and light. Boost your day. Step it up, climb away, reach the summit, seize the day. Trail charge bar, unwrap the power. Lightning fuel, feel it shower. Take a bite. The catch is that the product consistency may drop more when you switch styles. So it could take a few tries to get the result. That said, it's actually perfect for projects where consistency isn't as critical. Like if you're promoting a charity cause or something that is not product based. I also wanted to test a high end CGI style commercial. And here are my results. Precision in every detail at Maltry. Auralux One. Precision in every detail. Auralux One. 
Normally, this type of ads would probably need a 3D team, but now we can just create this kind of product showcase from a single prompt like this. So here's what we learn after testing both VO3.1 and Sora 2 for product commercials. When you don't give too many instructions, Sora 2 naturally does a better job at shaping the whole commercial, from pacing the acting to music and emotion. It feels more intentional, like a real director was behind it and the result has this premium and cinematic quality. VO3.1, on the other hand, sometimes give you slightly awkward pacing or over-exaggerated expressions that don't really land for me. The overall tone can feel a bit more mechanical or AI-like compared to Sora. So for storytelling and direction, I vote for Sora too. Image with really crisp texture and detail. Sometimes it gives overly contrasted and sharp results, and it may give up us AI generated more easily. And Sora 2, on the other hand, has a softer look, sometimes even a little blurry and not as sharp, but the overall aesthetic is more realistic. This round, I would vote for VO3. Overall, I think both Sora 2 and VO3.1 maintain solid character consistency throughout the generation. Although VO3.1 often gives us more plastic AI feel, that is easy to spot compared to Sora 2. When it comes to product consistency, which is one of the most important part of any product commercial, I think Sora 2 performs surprisingly well. You ever have one of those days? Yeah, me too. But I've got my fix. In this move fix example, the package consistent throughout the entire clip, and it even cropped the logo from the product image, almost perfectly for the end scene logo reveal. And for this one, I was really impressed when she opened the chocolate, the shape, and the pattern of the bar actually stayed consistent between these two shots. It even looked like the final clip had the same bite mark from the previous scene. And that level of detail and continuity is really incredible. It's way more consistent than I expected from a AI-generated video. Well, but it's not flawless, of course. Sometimes you'll still get inaccuracy. Like the logo color in this end scene is not exactly correct. But overall, I find Sora 2 probably deliver better product consistency than VO3.1. And VO3.1, on the other hand, can be a bit more creative with the product. It sometimes alters the packaging or color in subtle ways like this. Both models can give you great results, but realistically, it's never 100% perfect. There's always a bit of luck involved in getting a fully consistent clip. And for character and product consistency, Sora 2 shows more reliability and attention to detail in my test, so I give this round to Sora 2. When it comes to understanding real-world physics and how things work, VO3.1 can sometimes produce some pretty strange results. Like here, we've got a duplicate hand, and here's a strange bite mark on the chocolate. This one, we got a half-eaten chocolate being pulled out of a seal wrapper. Someone might have to call that chocolate factory to file a complaint. Sora 2, on the other hand, gives us fewer of those weird physics issues in my test at least. The main thing to watch out for is the blurry and distorted text if you don't specify no text in your prompt because sometimes they struggle to get the text right. I would recommend avoiding on-screen text altogether and just add your captions or logos later in editing. So for physical realism, I would say Sora 2 wins. I see fewer strange glitches and more believable world logic. In terms of control, VO3.1 definitely gives you more flexibility with the start and end frame control. And you can input your characters and products in these frames for more control. Sora 2, on the other hand, doesn't allow any unverified faces. So while Sora's results are beautiful, it's hard to regenerate shot sector or regenerate shot section and if you want to use AI generated character. For control and workflow flexibility, VO3.1 is the stronger option with more control. There's a difference in overall style that's harder to quantify, but to me Sora 2 just feels more natural and premium. The ways it handles the mood, the pacing, acting, and music comes closer to a real modern commercial. And VO3.1, on the other hand, can feel a little bit more exaggerated sometimes like it's trying too hard to impress. If you want your commercial to feel modern and realistic, Sora 2 has the stronger overall style and feel in my opinion. Let's test which one's actually better for product commercials. Honestly, if we are talking about pure visuals and the cinematic premium vibe, I would go with Sora 2. 
It just looks better, and it's actually cheaper in credits too. But if you care more about control, like keeping your character consistent or matching brand visuals perfectly, then VO3.1 is the better pick. And that's how you create AI product commercials you can actually use with VO3.1 and Sora 2. Now available inside Leonardo AI. Grab the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.